my next guests are platinum country music recording artist and a hit-making singer-songwriter who met on tour with no expectations for love. Six months later, they were engaged, and now almost a decade of marriage and two kids together, they're releasing their first album together, Rod and Rose from Nashville. Please welcome the new duo, Rodney Atkins and Rose Falcon to the Tampa. Thank you all so much for joining us. Hey there. Thanks so much for having us. Good We're morning. psyched to be here. Of course. So, Rose, I got to start with you. So today's show is all about trusting your gut. You met Rodney at a time when... As I understand, you weren't looking for love, but what <laughs> changed right. your mind? Wow, so it's such a crazy story. Like you said, we met on a tour called the Throwdown Tour, and I did not want to go on this tour. I was <laughs> just, I had a boyfriend at home, I had a record about to come out and was supposed to go on a radio tour, but I just, you know, trusted this was the right thing to do at the time and reluctantly went on tour. And so I would be in my bunk just writing letters to God, you know, just so crying, not wanting to be there. My boyfriend ended up breaking up with me. And when I met Rodney. <laughs> Rodney gave the thing. thumbs up. I don't know if you saw your husband. He gave the thumbs up on the breakup. <laughs> yeah, me too. So when I met Rodney, I just kind of knew, you know, in my gut that, this was the answer, you know, to those letters I had been writing to God. And it just was, it oh. was the right thing. Oh, You're going to make you. me cry. Did you keep the letters? Actually, I did. I framed one. It's a, it's a hilarious letter. I wish I brought it with me. <laughs> I framed it and I gave it to Rodney. Yeah. Oh, that is so sweet. Rodney, I know that you've talked about how different y'all are, Rose, you know, being from the city, you being from the country, but it just works. I'm curious, why did it take so long to do this album together? I mean, what was there something in your gut that finally said, all right, now we've been together a decade, we've got children, I got the frame letter <laughs> to prove that she loves me. <laughs> so what, what took so long? Uh, honestly, yeah. one way that we're very similar is it, when we can't impose ourselves on people. Yeah. We're not good at saying, hey, everybody sit down and listen to us. We're going to sing a song for you. Um, I think we needed somebody to say, you guys need to make an album together. That's how, It was that simple. We were making music around the house, but the guy that owns the record label I'm on, Curb Records, Mike Curb, called me one day and he said, Rodney, I think you and Rose should do a project together. Wow. And we just said, okay, <laughs> let's do this. And that was right when the pandemic hit. And um, that's really what spurred the whole thing to happen. It was timing. Just, the universe, as they, they uh, say, conspires to bring things when, it, when you're ready for them and you were ready. I have to ask you before this performance, and we have a special one coming up, um, Rose Rotney, who has the best gut instinct of the two of you? I'm just causing trouble. Oh, yes! <laughs> Rose! Yeah. It must be a female thing, it maybe, be. because we just saw, yeah, we just saw Rachel say the same thing. Um, you know, as I think about following our gut, I think the best decisions I've probably ever made are not the ones that I hem and haul and mm. hesitate mm. and ponder. It's the ones that I have to make a, okay, this feels right, right. and do it. Right. I mean, that's what we've done with almost every decision that has to do with, with Rose and I have, have been, okay, this feels good, let's do it. I like and that. That's I'm that way out. too. If I if I yeah. think yeah. about, I think long, think wrong. So I'd rather yeah. go in and deal with the consequences. But the family bets on Rose's gut instinct. I do like that. I think that's very smart. Another smart decision from you, Rodney. I agree <laughs> with that, hundred percent.